and welcome, welcome to the Raw BJ Podcast. I am your co-host, Brittany. We have our associate producer, Mr. Jag, in the building. What's up? <laughs> What's up? So the setup might look a little bit different for y'all today. Jota is producing on the side, but he is still with us in hilarity and happiness. And we also have the... And I do mean the Eddie David joining us in studio for the first what's time. Up, what's up? The psycho. Oh my psycho is here. Oh wow. Oh shit. Like you're really a psycho. I'm really a psycho. Oh sh- I just look like this. I just want to say that no podcast members were harmed during the making of this interview. They were not. <laughs> I got here and they turned it on. Okay. <laughs> no time. Oh my God. I have not seen you since the hot shit mixer. Yeah. It's yeah. been a while. It's been a while. You didn't catch a case, so that's great. Oh, I didn't get caught. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's that psycho shit. I had eyes on him the whole time. He did nothing. I did nothing. I was in front of the cameras. He did nothing. Nothing. Eddie, since this is my first time knowing you, man, I've, I've never been to a hot shit mixer, but I hear lots of good shit about it. But can you tell me and the people who don't know you, uh, who is Eddie? David, and where did you get the name from, man? Oh, okay. So, <laughs> hi. <laughs> Why do you have to grunt like that? Oh. <laughs> like, it's a, it's a, like it's a story behind it. It's a, it's a story. It's a story. So, my real name is Edmund, but nobody in the South says my name right. They say Elma. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, there's two D's in my name. There's two. So, I just shortened it to Eddie. David is my middle name. So, I just boom, 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 just shorten it up to like that. Um, I'm from Savannah. Shout out Savannah. Come on, Joe. You know I want Deuce. Deuce say in the building. <laughs> now you know Jay-Z just sold that shit, right? Oh, We're okay. back to drinking black uh black drinks like Hennessy and stuff like that. Oh, man, that was such a good drink. Well, it's not good any fucking more. <laughs> it's good for whoever owns it. It's good for whoever owns it. I mean, once Jay-Z and Beyonce say don't, I don't. No, I feel I gotta move with the culture. So okay. so with the moving of the culture, what inspired you into music, man? Um, I've been always into music. It started off with dance, like Michael Jackson, just seeing him, like when I was a little, little kid, that inspired me to dance. But Whitney inspired me to want to sing. And Mariah wanted me to be a writer. Mm. Mariah Carey, that is. <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> There's only the one. So, when I hear Mariah, I only think of her. Yeah. So, and, and then that was that. My dad is heavily, he always played music around the house. So, Bootsy Collins, Prince, and Luther, that was Saturday. We know it's time to clean, clean up. Clean up. <laughs> I feel like. So, you can be in the sad mood, then you cut on Bootsy, then you turn it up, and then I'm like, okay, DMX. <laughs> okay, Dad. <laughs> Oh, Thanks, shit. Dad. And my mom, she just had us strictly in the gospel. So that was that. So uh-huh. with that, like, all of those mixers of, like, music, of, like, different type of seasonings of music, you had gospel, R&B, uh, rap. Like, what would you describe your type of music that you create, man? I want to more likely think of myself as a pop artist, as an all-over artist. I don't, like, have a specific genre that I write to because I write for everything, and I've wrote for a lot of country artists. And pop is just, pop always pulls me in. Like, I love R&B, but, you know, R&B gets a little sad sometimes. Mm -hmm. And rap music has me turned up too hard sometimes. So... You know, there's the country, it's that right in the middle, pop music right in the middle. I like to be right in the middle of everything. Oh, yeah. Well, that's important. But like, I've seen you perform and I noticed like the thing about you is you don't put yourself in a box. And I love that. I love that you can just be versatile and cross over and stuff. And you don't see that from a lot of artists nowadays. Like everybody wants to be this one set thing, this cookie cutter. Yeah. And you don't give me snickerdoodle vibes. I love it. I don't. I don't. You know what? (laughs) It's always been important to me to be my to be my individual self because mm-hmm. I I feel like I don't fit in in a lot of places. So I'm always standing out. I see that I'm too goofy or I'm too serious or I'm just I'm laughing too much. Like it's too much. So I'm just like I need people that's too much. So I gotta hang out with people that's too much like me. Oh, I love that. That's I think that's why we vibe because yeah. I don't fit into a lot of pantsuits. <laughs> so I can definitely I can definitely see where you're coming from as far as standing out. 
um, as far as your muchness being too much for people. Yeah. I've always told people like I'm above average. So if you don't get me, then yeah. <laughs> you're average. Like obviously, I mean, like you're I'm missing you for a reason. But you know, you can't let that stop you. Like sometimes you gotta be different. Just dare to be different. Yeah, it's just I <sighs> I just have to be different. I just got to be me. And I, I hate the word different because it makes it seem like it's something wrong with it. But different is, I like peculiar. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. peculiar. You know? I, I'm eccentric. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people always used to say. And I just I just totally go with it. I'll take that because I've seen normal and no, the fuck not. It's boring. Right. It's so boring. <laughs> like you're scared to be yourself and you just like this or you wear this because everybody else does it. I'm just mm-hmm. like... Not me and out of my house. Yeah, it just doesn't work. And it wouldn't work for your music either because your music is so, like, in your face. It's very, like, psychotic. emotive and very... Is it psychotic? It's psychotic. But, <laughs> but sometimes that's the vibe. Like, sometimes people, you brought me to that. Like, <laughs> you don't always have to be there, but once you get there, give it to them. Yeah, like, you know, you know... <laughs> so, with, so, like, I heard you saying, like, a lot of things about Psycho. Like, I want to know about this song because it's like when I heard it I didn't know if it was like psycho killer or like love psycho it's love psycho that makes you a killer same damn oh, thing that's the same right? <laughs> oh shit I mean, if, you think, if you really think about like the hard crimes everything that links those crimes together is love it's always mm-hmm. a passion of something Facts. somebody hurt me and now it made me this person or mm-hmm. this person said something to me so now i want everybody to feel that that's that's love and depreciation of love so mm-hmm. you know that i think that's what makes a psycho so with that let's like I want you to do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Introduce me to this song and introduce the people to your song. Okay, guys. (laughs) Eds and Eddies out there. (laughs) I want you to know this is my single, Psycho, out there. For the Psycho lovers out there. Come on, now. (laughs) Here we go.
No, I love that. Yeah. I like that. <sighs> And I don't like psycho shit, but that was really. Sick. <laughs> but, you, but you know what though? It's relatable to a lot of people because love and psychotic, like love and psychosis, intersect a lot, yeah. and hence the terms like "love you to death" Facts. and yes, stuff I like that. that. Like it, it, you can only say it if you see it. Facts. I love that, and I only say it if I mean it. Right, and I I feel like people don't acknowledge the psychosis mm. all the time. They call it something else. Oh, he's toxic. No, bitch. No, no. He's plotting your death yeah, yeah. and your dumb ass is over there arguing over crumbs and who squeezed the toothpaste. Uh-huh. What's the bitch? Run! Like, because... Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> run, bitch. Run. Even the chainsaw is telling you to run. Like, run, 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 run bitch. Run. Mm-hmm. But I just think people... You know, I think people relate to it because they can they can see it in themselves or they can see it in someone they're dating or they've been through this before and they probably minimized it mm-hmm. as opposed to calling it out for what it is. And, you know, when you love someone, you get all these different endorphins, chemical reactions and things yeah. that happen to your body. The same mm-hmm. thing happens when you feel like your Preach. expectations are violated, but Preach. in reverse. Preach. So. You know, without, without getting too psychological. Uh, I was speaking a word. Just a word. A word. Thank you for coming to Raw BJ Ministries where everything is full circle. You see. But. <laughs> I feel like you understand me. I, it's my it's my way. Yeah. I can't help it. You know, you know, I'm a Libra. And we love really, really hard. Mm-hmm. It's very. But y'all are very. Um, once you fall back, it's falling the fuck oh, back. It's, it's, like, it's, it's the most disgusting it's, it's, thing that you was like, I will be the most Y'all like missing persons fall you know, back. I'm not disrespectful. I will be like, I will see you and be like, I could spend just three years with you. On the first 48? And, and I don't even know. No, the last 96. Like, these okay. motherfuckers, not only are they not giving a fuck, like, they'll let nah. you know. And then the worst part is, they'll still fuck with people that are in your circle, but not you. Sure. Oh, my <laughs> God. And I've done that. No, I've done, and I've done that. that. I am so, like, when it comes to that, I feel like when you're dead to me, you're dead to me. Mm-hmm. But if I'm still cool and we just know somebody, that's all. I, you know somebody who died to me. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Did you not attend that funeral? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. But, I mean, but it's just that way. I, I know a lot of Libras and they love genuinely. Yeah. And when it's a rap, oh, baby, you know? that's it. There is no coming back. So without those type of people. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I'm not a real too much, but, you know. No, it's not too much. You can go opening up. A, a, it's never artist. too much for the nah. Robbie J podcast. Nah. Give okay, it to us. all right, cool. Nah. But F those people. <laughs> <laughs> Who will be the people that you want to collab with? Ooh, okay. So we're gonna do like independent artists, and then we're gonna do celebrities, right? Mm. Let's start with independent artists. Mm-hmm. Hemingway, Hemingway, Hemingway. If I say it loud enough to the universe, it'll come true, right? Okay. <laughs> just, just so you know, manifestation is a real thing. It's a real I mean, thing. but honey, you could you could just say it at the mixer and like, let it happen. Like you ain't got you just got too much manifesting when you get to the mic. You- just so you know. <laughs> so let me tell you, like I am really shy. I am shy when I'm performing. Like it's a, I don't know what happens there. But, like, just walking up to people and saying, like, oh, other than, hey, how you doing? And then my head turns, and then I'm wherever that wind's about to take me. I'm an air sign, so, you know, we go wherever. Come on, okay. air sign. I'm going to tell you. I'm, okay, I'm going to tell you how to I'm gonna tell you how to get on with the with the collab. Okay. The next time you perform at a Hemi event, just say, this performance is dedicated to Hemi. Hopefully, we can collab sooner. <laughs> Block. Because you already performing. You already in the zone. I'm in the if, zone. Yeah. If, you too, if you too shy to say it prior, that's all I'm saying. Okay, I, I think I'm gonna do that, or I can just do it the natural way and just DM. That's true too. Yeah. Okay, and then okay, it's oh my gosh, my mind just left me. So <laughs> it's Hemingway, right? Bring the psycho. Hemingway, he's back. <laughs> so Hemingway, oh uh, Rico Casadine, love Rico, love Rico. Um. My brain is on pause right there with independent artists. Okay. And Shay, Shay, she's she's like this soul singer, and her voice is so sweet. I like, I listen to her music, and it just made me like incense mm. and like smell good. So now I'm in the room, just burning the candle, like <laughs> this is Not therapy. Mm-hmm. This is this is therapy for me. Like, but artist wise, like writing with, I want to work with like Money Long. Um, Carrie Hilson, mm-hmm. Neo, mm-hmm. and the Dream. Those are my top four people. The way that they write is Can like it's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's just their pens are 
you know, half of them in that group is Libras, and I don't want to call them out. And I'm not saying that <laughs> Libras are the best songwriters, but if you can evoke some kind of emotion out of me mm-hmm. with your pen, I want to write. I, I want to sit and I want to write with you. Yeah. Because that's what gets me. That's what fuels me. And I also love Beyonce. I'm a Beehive member. Well, I also, I love that the people that you mentioned not only wrote for themselves, but also for others. And it made it seem like the other person was giving you that emotion themselves. So the fact that they can yeah. be empathic writers, mm. I think that's a quality that we overlook so many times right. because it's supposed to be relatable. But if you can't see yourself in others, you can't do that. No. So right. I don't know. Shout out. Shout out to the Libras. Listen, y'all are, y'all, y'all, y'all. Come on, Air Sign. Come, come on, Air Sign. Air Sign gang. Come y'all on, Air Sign. Listen, I'm a Taurus and I give credit where it's due. I just don't like to. But um, <laughs> y'all, 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 y'all do a little <laughs> frazzle dazzle. Y'all doing a little song, a little song. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know, you know. Oh, Brian Knight is a Gemini too. I forgot Brian Knight, but I love Brian Knight. I cry every time I listen to one of his songs. So, if you could open up for anybody besides the people that you just named, oh. who would it be? Okay, so with my music, I want to say the Lady Gaga or definitely mm-hmm. Janet Jackson. Come on, mm-hmm. I need heavy pop icon because they already have the audience that I yeah, want. Smart that I want to go to. So my music ties right in with them. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I could just see it. I just, I just see it being more of a Lady Gaga thing because I feel like the monsters would immediately embrace it. Like mm-hmm. they would just go for she, it. You know what? I feel like that's who listens to Psycho mm-hmm. because this song only charts and get hits in like switzerland <laughs> it's sweden and germany places that don't allow violence go, so, go figure no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> so when i'm looking back at the stats on this song and i'm just like uh, okay I, I know who's i know where this is coming from okay good i can I, go see but i could totally see you opening up for lady gaga i see her coming out with a chainsaw robe on oh, like i see I just see the shit going yeah. where I'm it's supposed the, to go. Like I'm, I'm with the shits. I'm with the shits. We got so you like drama. I, I do. You, mm. I do like <laughs> drama. I mean, you know, TNT, baby. I got more drama than TNT. That's what Hello. I tell people. <laughs> so if you know, you know. And speaking of TNT, our sponsor <laughs> at TNT <laughs> Enterprise are known for their handcrafted home goods and their explosive designs. Boom. <laughs> but at low, low prices that won't spark your wallet. I cannot. I cannot. That's the TNT I love. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. The link will be in the bio. So <laughs> bring that back to us. Let me see. Let's talk about this song. Since I mean, actually, I remember it was about a drama situation. Yeah. So give me the inspiration of drama. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my new single drama, <laughs> which will debut soon. Um, drama is about you know in that relationship where you're really really vulnerable, mm-hmm. right? And this person doesn't see you; they don't see all that you contribute to the relationship. They don't see how the sacrifices, and the only thing they are so used to is somebody hurting them and being in pain. Mm-hmm. So they can't see the love and they don't know how to receive love. So I'm just like. This one for my good guys out there, because guys get a lot of bad rap about not being emotionally attached or emotionally aware of what's going on in a relationship. But there are guys out there that try, and I feel like they don't get the just deserve. So mm-hmm. to y'all, we ain't doing no more drama. Mm-hmm. We be taking on married. We ain't, we ain't doing no more drama. It's either you want to be here or you don't. I'm not your ex. Mm. I'm not going to pay for any mistakes because I didn't cause them. Hello. And I need you to be healed before you just try to jump in a relationship well, with me or anybody else. That's right. We're not Mona Lisa. Don't paint us with that brush. I don't know. I feel a little drama. I feel a little tear coming out my eye. Uh, oh my but I'm going to play it's this the gap. snippet. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> introduce your snippet, please. Guys. Oh. Now, this one, this one isn't so pop. It's really R&B kind of, you know, ish. <laughs> yeah. But this is my new single from my upcoming EP, Drama. Petty little, petty little arguments. There you go, there you go, starting your shit. If you love me, if you don't think you can leave, I can go, cause I don't need the drama. Petty little, petty little arguments. There you go. 
There you go, starting your shit If you love me, if you don't think you can I can go, cause I don't need the trauma Well, damn! I wanted some more of that. Okay, <laughs> I was uh, you gave us you gave us a taste, a little taste. Well, yeah, well, just well, a little taste. <laughs> because I'm such a perfectionist, like I hear stuff. So I was ready to drop this single. Actually, today I wanted to drop it right after the Valentine's Day for all the Valentine's Day breakup mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that might have ensued <laughs> today. But it's just, I just hear different things that I want to add to it. So I'm going to go in this weekend and actually add it and then drop it when it's ready. I love it. Like I hear it and I get so many, I get so many visual ideas from it. Like different people's different relationships, but the drama is the same. Like the core of it is the same function, same attitude, same feeling on either side. And I just feel like, I don't know. The problem with relationships in general is that we are expecting ourselves from others. And exactly. that's the issue. Everybody is the total sum of their life experience. Mm-hmm. So they're coming from a different area than you all together. Right. You can't expect them to have those tools. Mm-mm. But I mean, I don't know. I think it also comes from people not being upfront. Listen, I don't accept this, this, and this. <laughs> that's my line. And I can give you the tools. I can give you the tools not to cross it. Mm-hmm. But once I say it, that's what the fuck it is. Like, I, I'm not I'm not Chelsea. I'll beat your ass. So the difference is... If you just if you just tell people to listen, don't fuck, don't play with me. Don't don't play with me. I'm not Chelsea. I don't like this stuff. This isn't cute to me. Blah blah blah. You know, that's it. But you know that it goes back to my motto and how I start is how I want to finish. Mm-hmm. So how we start, like we got to walk this thing all the way through. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like if you don't like something, just talk. Because mm-hmm. the only thing that breaks down a relationship is no communication. Well, I think what breaks down relationships is people will do stuff to get you they won't do to keep you. And that's like know. like a job interview. When you have a job interview, you there an hour before the building open. The janitor can't even get his keys out <laughs> before your ass is at the door because you're ready to start this job. You get comfortable, Love. you start getting the free coffee. Love now, it. all of a sudden, you mad these motherfuckers want you to create spreadsheets. Nigga, that's your job. That's your job. You, it's data entry. You're supposed to be creating spreadsheets. All they want me to do is crunch numbers. That's your fucking job. It says CPA. I mean, that's that's what you're supposed to do. You and you, How dare you be offended? And people don't understand that sometimes job titles and duties often change. Mm-hmm. Relationships. <laughs> elevation <laughs> is where everything, like... Mm-hmm. You for me, I feel like it's elevation in a relationship because if I'm the same person that I was a year ago, that means we didn't grow together. Mm-hmm. Something happened, there's a breakdown. So I need to be able to love you and your consistency of being who you are. Mm-hmm. And you have to do the same for me. And people don't understand that. Last week you didn't say this, and now you're saying you want this because my needs changed. Mm-hmm. Because I see that you're gonna fail <laughs> and let me help you before you fail. Mm-hmm. I wanted to work. Do you want to work? Do you still want to be employed here? I got plenty of applications. And I got plenty of questions. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to call it Rapid Fire. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, all right, I'm ready. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. It- Oh, okay. Because beautiful. Don't worry. I have that. I, I have that effect on all people. Okay. <laughs> all right, Brittany. Yes. Do you want to give the instructions, or would you like me to give this psycho the instructions? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not psycho right now. I'm Y'all gonna out. get the Rob BJ podcast is gonna get an email from the American Health Association <laughs> saying that psycho is a derogatory <laughs> sir, and we are not supposed to use that. We're supposed to call it something. Call people something else. Oh God. <sighs> okay, so this is rapid fire. Okay. These questions are as random as the entries on Jack. And oh, uh, you are not to think about the answer. You just say the first thing that comes to mind. And they are wacky questions. Okay. They're crazy as a bag of hammers. You have 60 seconds that is the american term for one minute <laughs> a minute to answer as many of these crazy wackadoodle questions as possible okay. are you up for the challenge i am so ready let's go are you sure don't question him Libra. <laughs> <laughs> if he says it that's it that's what it is are you ready <laughs> and one two bring it down what is your last google search 
What motivates you the most? <laughs> Money. What is your favorite Christmas carol? Don't have one. Name an onomatopoeia. I can spell it. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite game of all time? Connect four. What is your favorite type of weather? Rainy and dark. What is a good spy code name for you? Dark night. How often do you floss? Every day. How would you cure world hunger? Food stamps. <laughs> if you could cure one, if you could um, get rid of one U.S. state, what would it be and why? North Dakota? Because who goes there? <laughs> oh, okay. Summer or winter? Winter. Cats or dogs? Dogs. What scares you? Nothing. What would you change about yourself? My height. What's something that you do not like doing? Work, manual labor. Rapid fire, Dama! <laughs> <laughs> what the job has just fucking go home. I just want to point out that there are inconsistencies that we will be discussing later on. Okay. I just want you to know your subconscious does not like to work, but in relationships, you want to do work. I'm oh. confused. I'm not going to be able to do this. No, and, and that's why I cleared it up when I said work. No, no. manual labor. <laughs> manual labor. It's what I meant. <laughs> so you don't want to be hands-on in your relationship? Mm. <laughs> Got him. Listen, if we're moving, can we hire movers? Hello. Hello. I, I'm the same way. My fiance talked about so we could get it done. We sure the fuck can as soon as I called him. But if I French? if I have to ever move anything, I'm not doing shit. Are, are we speaking French? I, Is that okay? French is a love language. Listen. Yeah. That's awesome. Listen, oh. I do not lift boxes. I, it's not for me. I lift souls. That's Come it. Come on. Not boxes. Come on. I'm trying to, and I lift. I lift bro, blood pressures too. Hello. So, <laughs> not blood so with the, with uh, blood pressure issues, uh, uh, <laughs> what would be the best advice someone has given you? Um, the best advice is to be myself. It's so cliche, but be myself because I'm enough. Mm. And I don't really know this, that I light up rooms when I'm in there. I'm just being me. I don't, it's just me. I feel like this is regular. Mm. So, I mean, that was the best advice. But then just, you know, just seeing that in real life, in real time, it's like, okay, I'm enough. But that's great though. Yeah. When you light up the room and when you are a positive force in people's lives, you uplift them without knowing. Yeah. It's necessary. Yeah. And, it, and it's not intentional. It's just, you know, I treat people the way I want to be treated mm -hmm. and I talk to people how I want them to talk back to me. And then that's when it flips when you don't. It's just a shame that you didn't get that stimulus in 2020. You are an essential worker and you didn't even know, like, we need you. You know what? <sighs> You know, during that time, no, <laughs> Biden, you got some stuff to uh, report. Biden. Well, being though, you know, old Joe gonna take his time to do that, you know. So he's man, trying. He, he's yeah, he's he's uh he needs to try a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. Uh, but Viagra doesn't I'm work. I'm gonna agree, but obviously, I'm gonna agree with you on that. It's cool, but you know, what what would since we ain't getting nothing much from Biden, not you know Viagra, why? Uh, what so are we nice. getting, or what can we expect to get from you? Oh. Uh, Y'all gonna get this EP and y'all gonna get these videos. Like, it's my first ever EP. And you know, this is my first time ever talking about it. I never tell people what I'm actually doing. Okay. I just drop it and see how it's gonna go. Exclusive. So, this is an exclusive. So, my EP, Tainted Love Stories. Mm -hmm. And Drama's the first single from that EP. So Psycho was just something I just needed to put out and get out of my, get mm. out of my, but tying it all in, I feel like Drama's the one for me. How, how many songs are on there? Five. Mm. Five. And you know it's why? Tainted Love Stories, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's Tainted Love Stories. And the the concept of this EP is like everything. Love ties everything together. Every emotion. So you're it's five different songs from five different genres. But they all flow in together. Mm -hmm. That's what's up, though. But so, I know why it's five songs. I want to know. I want to know why, Brittany. <laughs> how many letters in drama? Ah. Uh, how many letters are in Libra? Let's be clear. Oh, L I P R A. Drama. That too. Libra. Oh, listen, we just to get. We, this, this is all subconscious in the mind, child. Damn, we was off by one letter for psycho. <laughs> but but then again, there is crazy. 
<laughs> gang, 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 gang. Shout out to Tosaurus. Uh, gang, what... gang. <laughs> Thank you, Miriam and Webster, for all your hard work. For all your hard work and all your hard work, man. Over there, listen here. I don't really know how to do this like this, but listen. Uh -huh. What can you do for your fans by leaving us a good message to follow you, man? A good message. Um, stand out. Don't be afraid to speak your mind. Don't be afraid to be. Don't ever dim your light to try to make someone else's light shine. Mm. Because only thing that you're doing is cutting off Georgia Power to you. Mm. You can't empower somebody else if you're not empowered yourself. You know? So that's one thing that I learned at this big age. <laughs> <laughs> is that you have to keep the lights on for you. Mm. You're your own Motel 6. Mm. And that's what I tell people. So when you walk in your light and you walk in your truth, it doesn't matter who follows you or not. Mm. Because eventually you'll find your crew. You'll find your niche. You'll find your place in the world. And don't let love tie you down. Oh, that's facts. All that was facts. Listen to him. I, I, I'm I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to uh, get over, you know, <laughs> a relationship now. But, you know, don't let love tie you down. And just walk. Just walk with your head high. And you're worth it. Life is great if you let it be. And this is your life. You got to you gotta take control. You lost me a walk. But I agree with everything else that you said. Child. We don't want to take you to run. We don't want to do all of that. Nope. We don't want to do that. Listen, Jill Scott wanted to take long walks. I just want to sit and count money. But I totally see what you're saying about the other stuff. You can I walk agree to the bank. That's Listen. a that's a beautiful wall. Walk into the Ask. cashier. They gonna send it to me. Mm -mm. So we dropping checks, right? <laughs> so we dropping bit checks. So drop that social media for me. <laughs> so you can find me at Eddie David. That's E D D I I D A Y V I D on all social media: YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Anywhere that there's Eddie David in the social media, you should find me. I'll be there in the shadows, lurking <laughs> like a psycho. No, allegedly, 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 alleg hopefully, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, this is coming to a, a sad but beautiful end because. Damn listen, you, got, Jack. Listen, man, people got shit to do. We got bills. We got today. food to eat. I agree with I'm that, but listening. damn you. <laughs> so you know where we find us at, people, at the Raw BJ Podcast on all social media platforms. Check us out. No, not check us out. Check out the sponsor at TNT Enterprise. If you want some of those beautiful handcrafted goods for your table over there, you see those beautiful blank hands and those crafted goods, yes. And you can get them at TNT Enterprise 18 on social media. Media on Instagram. Brittany? Yes, Jag. Do you have any last words? Yes, thank God. <laughs> now, to all of our viewers and listeners, I just want y'all to know home is where the heart is and ours has always been with you. Thank you so much for listening and watching and being a part of our journey. And in the words of Maury Povich, until next time, America! <laughs> and all of the other countries that listen. Yo, as always, catch us on the next Raw BJ and we will all, you know what, <gasps> come together. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Bye. It's just how you do what you do. I love what you do. Jack, what in the hell were, <laughs> were you? This? Never mind. It's going to go in the blooper reel. I ain't got, I ain't got a goddamn time. I don't have time.